hook and bag truth seeker just put out a longer video on this circulating story about a cow of prophecy being born in Israel September 4th and how it foreshadows coming destruction and the rise of the third temple in Jerusalem and thanks to a tip from somebody I have now connected what date this story is foreshadowing August 11th 2019 something very bad is going to happen in this world and this is not going to be a faulty projection this is going to be dead on the money these people have terrible plans for August 11th 2019 we have 11 months from today to get the word out these people their flaw is their rituals I have figured out how their rituals operate some things are very clear to see such as how last year 2017 I guaranteed everybody the weekend of Yom Kippur we would see the biggest false flag since 9-11 Yom Kippur's about atonement for your sins that's the weekend Las Vegas was shot up Sin City and I reminded all year that that weekend was marked it was going to be a big false flag and that's exactly what happened I see this riddle even more clearly August 11th 2019 mark it down it's not going to miss these people are too ritualistic and I'm going to show you why August 11th 2019 is the day please also go back and watch the video that I just did I began by educating about the number 202 which is coded right into this headline in a number of ways it's coded into this yellow sign right here it's coded into this emphasized phrase born in Israel in 2,000 years fulfills prophecy I'll just show you this right here the end is near 202 end of the world 202 which the article talks about born in Israel in 200 years fulfills prophecy 202 and um, check out the video the story's about the red heifer being born this cow of prophecy which again foreshadows destruction in the third temple and understand these are all things I've been talking about even before this story how the third temple is coming how it's being foreshadowed now I get it in the last decode we only looked at the four base ciphers which is usually where I do the majority of my decoding as I've said a million times the next most important cipher outside of the four base ciphers is Jewish gematria and you could even make an argument that it is the most important cipher alone in the film gematria the only cipher used is Jewish gematria it's in tribute to Latin the alphabet that English is based in in Jewish gematria red heifer sums to 202 and as soon as I saw this the light bulb went off in my head for what they're doing here this year July 21st the 202nd day of the year which I know off the top of my head because it's my birthday July 21st the 202nd day of the year was the day that Tisha B'Av began and Tisha B'Av is to remember the destruction of the two temples the third temple is part of this ongoing prophecy that we're living out so this whole story is about Tisha B'Av the destruction of the two temples the coming third temple they're coding 202 all over the place Tisha B'Av just fell on the 202nd day of the year July 21st and if you missed my videos from July when I returned I said circle the weekend of July 21st and 22nd we're going to see false flags in the world we got the false flag in LA July 21st we got the false flag in Toronto July 22nd I saw that ritual coming they always do rituals with Tisha B'Av <clears throat> so understand these stories of the red heifer <clears throat> supposedly the cow was born September 4th but the news didn't break until September 9th and now there's been news stories about it September 9th September 10th September 11th today this is a circulating story worldwide and right now is Rosh Hashanah it's the Jewish New Year Tisha B'Av is to remember the destruction of the two temples and in Tisha B'Av in Jewish Gematria it sums to 911 like how we saw the destruction of the two towers on September 11th and then we saw Iyad Barak the Prime Minister of Israel come at the time come to America and say we need to declare a war on terrorism against Afghanistan and Iraq and other nations of the world the same places we now have military forces the same places we're at war with the same places we're flying drones over and bombing this is all part of an agenda it's all part of a contrived biblical prophecy we're living out so what do you think the next logical step is here the next logical step is to look at when Tisha B'Av is 
for 2019. This is a warning. Tisha Bomb 2019, as soon as I saw this, my jaw hit the floor. It falls on August 10th and August 11th this coming year. The Jewish holidays, they're synced up with the moon. They're all synced up with the moon. That's why they are different each year. August 11th, we know they love 11, the master number, number of the beast. August 11th, what I also know about that date is it's the 223rd day of the year. And the thing about 223 is this. The synagogue of Satan equals 223. Very special number to the history of Israel. 223 is the 48th prime number. <clears throat> Israel was recognized officially as a nation May 14th, 1948. Their day of establishment, a nation of white Jews. And in the Bible, the Jews have a clear physical description. Dark skin, hair of wool. Not white skin, you know. Not hair like mine, you know. Not hair like this. Their identity has been stolen. In the end of Revelation, this article here about this cow, it's all about Revelation. In Revelation, it says the false Jews will rule in the end times. We are living in these times that are referred to as the end times. I'm, saying the, I'm, not, I'm not saying the apocalypse is coming or, you know, it's going to rain fire from the sky or bodies and spirits are just going to rise up into the heavens. I'm not saying that. All of this stuff's a misinterpretation. But the point is to understand we are living in the biblical end times. The false Jews are ruling and they're contriving news by this prophecy, including September 11th, including the story of this cow being born September 4th. This is the synagogue of Satan. This is who the false Jews are. This is how they do their rituals. They're the ones that built this English language by this code. They're the one that built the Gregorian calendar system we're now on, which is a nonsensical calendar system, which should have never been converted to in the first place. doesn't make any sense. The new year used to be the beginning of spring when things are anew. They moved the new year to the dead of winter because these people celebrate death. These people rule the world with death and destruction. Tisha B'Av is to remember death and destruction. The synagogue of Satan 223 and the Jewish cipher Masonic 223 and some people call Masonry Judaism for the Gentile. It's largely based in the 39 books of the Old Testament, Solomon's Temple, the First Temple, Herod's Temple, Biblical knowledge, Old Testament knowledge. Now, notice in the base cipher, Red Heifer is also 48, like Freemason. Freemason is also 48 in Hebrew. A lot of overlap with English and Hebrew in this numerical code. Again, 223, the 48th prime. Israel established as a nation in 48. Prophecy by the numbers. The numbers of the synagogue of Satan. Do you see what they're doing here? August 11th. Here's the other thing about August 11th. August 11th can be written 11 slash 8, like 118. The cow was born September 4th, the day leaving 118 days left in the year. You see what these dates have in common? The cow is born September 4th, which projects this prophecy of the coming destruction, the third temple. Here's the other piece. August 11th, 20, this is a typo, 2019, 8 plus 11 plus 20 plus 19 is 58. And we just talked about this in the last video. 58. In the base ciphers, third temple equals 58. Solomon's temple, which is the first temple, 58. Herod's temple, which is the second temple, 58. Today, 9-11-2018, date with 58 numerology. Tisha B'Av, 9-11. Today, we're all thinking about the destruction of the two towers, like the two temples. These new stories coming at this time. Jerusalem, 58. Now, I've been critical of Derek for building some extra ciphers on his gematrator calculator. And the reason I've been critical is I've said, okay, Derek, you got good theories, but I don't have proof that these ciphers are real. Derek took the Jewish gematria cipher, which is real. This is definitely a real cipher. And what he did is he applied the rules and numerology to it, kind of like English reduction. And he said, here, there's a new cipher, Jewish reduction. And I said, I don't know if you should do that, Derek, because I don't know that that's a real cipher. But I got to tell you, ever since he did that, I've been observing things and I keep going, huh, that's interesting how that fits with that cipher. That's interesting how that fights with that cipher. And just look, red hyphen 58, fitting right in with this riddle that projects the third temple to come. 
So I think Derek was right to do this. The reason I criticized him is because there wasn't any evidence for it. But now after observing all this time, I've seen enough. And I think he's right. And I think it was good speculation on his part. To his credit, I did say at the time, I did say in the book written by Faith Giovanni, which is about the numerical code behind English, she teaches you one cipher. She teaches you this one right here, the dark blue cipher. That's all she teaches you. No other ones. She did say that the English language has over a hundred ciphers that are used by certain people in this world. So this is probably one of them. And um, again, everything is lining up too well. They're going to do something August 11, 2019. It's got all of their numbers, 58, 223. These numbers are coded on false flags left and right throughout history. It's all covered in my book, Letters and Numbers. In case you're new here, I've made a lot of correct predictions for false flag dates, what will happen in sports championships, what will happen in elections. So, you know, I'm not a prophet. Don't confuse me. And I'm not trying to pretend to be anything like that. What I'm saying is I know these people work by this code. I know they drop their riddles in the news and contrive them by this code. And they project their future plans with this code. August 11th, 2019, it's going to be bad news that day. And watch August 10th, too. You know, August 10th has the numerology of 57, like Jews, like Moon, like another number covered in this story, which I covered in the first video, like Scottish Rite. So thank you so much to the person who made this observation. What you guys should know is in almost every video I do, I just use the base ciphers, and I won't even look into the other ciphers most of the time. And the reason why... It's because I've been doing this since 2013, and I know that when I began with just two ciphers, the alphabetic order and the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology, almost everyone would come and say, oh, you're using two ciphers, so you can probably just get whatever numbers you want. And I'd say, that doesn't make any sense. Two ciphers? I mean, take a statistics class. You know, the way that things line up is not coincidental. I'm not just I can't just get any numbers with two ciphers. Then when I discovered the reverse geometry and how it all fit together... I said, wow, I got to present this, but now people are going to come and say, oh, he's using four ciphers. He can just, he can pull any number he wants out of the air, which isn't true. But that's the way people think, and I already know this. So when I start using extra ciphers, people start going, oh my God, he's just making stuff up. But in case you are new here, the timeline, I started with the alphabetic order and the rules of numerology. The third cipher I ever learned was actually this cipher. So Going back to 2014, I've been teaching about the alphabetic order, the rules of numerology, and this cipher right here. The fourth cipher I learned was the Sumerian cipher, multiplying each letter times 6. A is 6, B is 12, C is 18. Then the next thing I learned was reverse gematria, and that really opened up a whole lot of seeing. It's like um, without reverse gematria, I wouldn't have known that um, you know, Red Heifer and Freemason were 48, where Freemason is also a 48 in Hebrew. I should look what Red Heifer is in Hebrew. That might be interesting. Might end up making another video on this yet. But I wouldn't have known, you know, this other half of the code over here. And I wouldn't have seen things like Herod's Temple's 58 or Jerusalem's 58. But already knowing these things and the way they do patterns with these numbers, that's why when I learned reverse gematria, I just said, oh my God, this is the other half of the code. You know, you had Donald Trump, the winner of the 58th U.S. presidency, presidential election, who celebrated the 58th presidential inauguration in Jerusalem for Jerusalem Day. You know, these are the types of things that you can observe outside of the code of letters and numbers to validate the code and see that this is how they're operating. And when you learn new things, if you observe over time and you make enough observations that really fit, again, this story about this cow is about how the third temple's coming. You can say, oh, wow, this is exactly what they're doing. And, you know, the story has to do with the destruction of the two temples and the third temple coming. And then you go, oh, wow, 202 on the 202nd day of this year, we got the story or uh, the holiday of Tisha B'Av, you know. And again, go back and see the videos that are up from the beginning of this channel. I said, watch July 21st, July 22nd. There's going to be tragic stories in the news, false flag numbers, bam, bam, two days in a row. Made videos, talked about it on my radio show, blog posts. So we have the better part of a year. We have 11 months to let the world know what these people got planned for August 11th, 2019. And they do have it planned. That's what this story is about. 
No. These people have plans that are derived from the code of order out of chaos. Create the problem, provide the solution. What's a logical story? Major terrorist bombing at Temple Mount, where the uh, two temples were, is now where the Islamic holy site is. And because it's such an important place to the Islamic people, you know, a lot of people say, you can't touch it. You're going to start a holy war. You're going to start major bloodshed. It has to stay. Jewish people say, that spot is rightfully ours. Take down Temple Mount. It's time to build the third temple. There's people in the world, Zionists, that feel absolutely that way. Destroy what's there, and let's put our temple there that belongs there. You know, there's a lot of Jews that despise the other face. You know, the Abrahamic religions, they're all out of the same thing. Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. Judaism is the oldest. Christianity is the second oldest. Islam is the newest. Islam controls Temple Mount. A lot of Jews want it demolished so they can build their temple there. So, very possibly, the story on August 11th, 2019, is that there's a major terrorist attack at Temple Mount. And the thing is, the entire world, largely... 99.9999999% of the world does not know about this code. They don't know about the rituals. They don't know anything about the numbers. So when that kind of stuff happens, no one's going to have a clue what it was. You know? We'll leave it there, truth seeker. Until next time.